back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about my fitness. I have gotten a lot of questions on Instagram and TikTok asking how I stay fit and toned. And so I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of my favorite workouts. I decided to take the workout outside today because the space is just kind of cute. We have some like lemon and orange friends. I feel like they're nice. So I decided I would take it out here. And especially since we're in quarantine, it's good to get some fresh air. So I am going to be sharing with you the workouts that I enjoy, a couple little tips that I like. And today's main focus is going to be around abs because that is what I do the most. Um, I prefer weightlifting for me. I don't really have access to a gym right now, so I've been trying to just do little things throughout my day that help me stay engaged. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get started. I feel like this mat makes me look like I like yoga, and I actually cannot do yoga at all. Oh, that's fantastic. I have a trick, this one. I don't have the patience. I'm pretty sure there's one like this too. I bet I can do it if I really, I'm not flexible enough. <gasps> like my brain just works too hard, which probably means that I need yoga. This is nice. I just, I can't be quiet for that long. I could lay like this all day. Okay, so we'll start this. Okay, okay. My fitness journey started when I was in high school. I was a competitive swimmer and I absolutely loved the sport. I lived for the family atmosphere and having all these girls on my team who were really competitive and excited to get in the water and keep training. And from that, I gained a lot of muscle mass. But once I got to college, I kind of lost the kick to keep swimming and decided to find a new outlet to work out, which led me to Zumba. I ended up doing Zumba all four years of college. I really, really loved it. I actually got my certification to be an instructor and I taught for three years at Western Michigan University. Where I met the sweetest humans. It was like my little Zumba family. The participants were amazing and I loved how collaborative I was able to be with the other instructors. And so I did that for three years and when I got to grad school, I needed a new outlet of workout, so I found weightlifting. Throughout my journey, my body type has changed a lot because when I was in my undergrad, I had definitely more of a cardio-focused workout, whereas swimming is like the perfect combination of everything. And then now that I'm in college and grad school, I definitely have less cardio in my life, but I've learned to find cardio that I enjoy instead of doing what everybody else does. and sticking to like the quota. I don't think that cardio needs to be a run or a walk or on the treadmill or a bike. Um, you can get cardio in so many different ways and I think just finding the outlet that you like most and using that to your advantage is the best way to get your cardio in. Crunches, make sure that you're focusing your energy, always pulling upward. If you're doing this, you're not really working anything. You can even see my abs, I don't know if you can see, you can see my abs are hardly engaged when I'm doing this versus when I put my hand behind my head and I don't pull myself up, but I lift and I can feel every single ab and I'm going down, lift me off the ground. And you want to get both your shoulder blades up off the ground. Nice and controlled, easy breathing. Take it slow. You're going to feel it within the first five. The second workout that I'm going to show you guys is actually my favorite one. I don't even know where I got it from. I'm sure I got it from Whitney Simmons, who is a Gymshark rep, and she is incredible. She posts really, really great at-home workouts, so you guys should go check out her Instagram. I'll link it right here. She does really, really great fitness workouts, and I've always watched her videos as inspiration if I need new ideas for my next workout. So, this ab circuit is really, really simple. You lay flat, and you put your hands and feet completely extended out. And all you're gonna do is bring your hands in a half circle around to here as you lift into a crunch. And you're gonna bring your knees up and flat and then extend them back out, but don't put them on the ground. You can see how much my core is engaged already. Watch that lift right there. And you curl in like this. And just when you get to that peak, you extend all the way up and you get to the peak and you lift. Making sure that you're getting those shoulder blades off the ground still, making sure you're tucking really nicely. You'll feel, feel your core is engaged. Honestly, when you're up in this tuck, it's almost a moment of rest for you. So bring it up, rest, and extend, and rest, and up, and extend, and 
you're gonna feel this workout a little bit more in your neck um, because you don't have that same stability and control as when you do. If you do need help, I mean, you can for sure still work out like this. But adding your arms in puts a little bit more weight on your upper body, which will work out that first, that top tier triangle of your core. So adding the arms just adds a little bit of extra weight to your body. And I really like it. So. The next ab circuit that I really, 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 really like is also a really simple one. It's again gonna start out with you laying completely flat. I hope I'm gonna for this one. I do. Okay, it's gonna start with you laying flat in a in a starfish assembly. I have the worst posture. I can see myself in the viewfinder right now. Literally, look at this. Okay, Disney, hire me for the hunchback. Either way, legs flat in the starfish like this, like this. Okay, a nice big starfish. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna reach for the opposite toe. Now. When I say you gotta focus the engagement of your core, I mean it with this workout. This one is one of those where if you can do this all day long and nothing's gonna happen, you gotta make sure that you're really focusing what muscles you're using. So when you lift, the, the, the side of your abs that is the same as the leg that's being lifted. So if I'm lifting my left leg, my left oblique ab side, it's literally, you're gonna feel it right here, right down this guy on that side that's the one that you're working out. So when you lift, you're gonna flex there and you're gonna make sure that shoulder gets up off the ground like we talked about with the last couple of them. So easy peasy, reach. And then you'll lift and you'll get to the other side and you'll be alternating which side, this side now, and now this side gets the core. And now this side, and now this side. So it's really simple. If you wanna and make it a little bit harder, add a little bit more of a swing around when you come down. You can rotate a little bit to get a really nice extension of that upper body. If you don't want to, you can just still reach up real nice. Once again, really nice control. Flexing those sides with whatever leg that you lift. Super easy. Okay, another simple workout that I like. It's almost a variation of that first one that we did where you did the half circle to the top. Okay, you're gonna tilt your body up to be like this. So now you're sitting on the top of your derriere, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your legs tabletop flat, you're gonna have your hands forward, and you're gonna go down, and you're gonna V up. And just focus your energy on keeping your legs up and your arms straight. When you go down, you should be able to hold a weight on your legs and it not fall off, because they stay consistently flat, like this, okay? So you can just do that one. This one you're gonna feel, it's gonna feel in your back too. So make sure that if your back does start hurting a lot, you're trying to focus that energy into your core. Your workout shouldn't hurt you. So don't do them if they're gonna hurt you because all you're gonna end up getting is more injuries and it's gonna result in keeping you from working out. So if anything hurts, we don't do it. Pinky promise. Okay, here we go. The last workout that I really love is super simple. One of these guys. You leave your legs up in the air. Once again, focusing that energy into your core. This is a really good one if you want to add weight. Holding two dumbbells and going flat to up, flat to up, flat to up. Once again, lifting my whole upper body off that ground, getting a nice clearance on my shoulder blades and focusing that energy toward my toes. I think I did all that. Well, y'all, those are my go-tos. That is what I do on a daily basis. They're really simple. They're really easy. They don't take a lot of work. You can do them in circuits. You can do 10 of each and repeat it three times through. You can do 30 of each individually. You can do 50 of each individually. You can do five sets of five. Like whatever you prefer to do that fits you and makes you happy while you're working out is the right way to do it. So. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I can't wait to start sharing every Thursday with you. Bye, guys.